I'm professionally trained at not showing my emotion. I don't think my heart's cut out for it. I just think, uh, I don't know. It's, you're cut out for it. No, no, like, I'm telling you, like, uh, it's, I find it incredibly, like, um, uh, here it's, like, um, so isolating. And, it is. And so, like, um, I just don't like, um, I don't like feeling this way. Like seeing the things you see, mm -hmm. the things you see, like, and I see a lot. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it like breaks my heart. Like seriously, my heart is like, uh, like my heart just is like, I can't do this. I, I can't do it. I know. Like I can't, like it's, mm -hmm. like, it's ah. Like I can't, like, no, I, I vividly remember why I, why I wasn't a cool kid in high school. I'm not that. cool. I, I don't have what it takes. Mm -hmm. And I can't pretend to be one way one minute and be another way. Like, I'm very, very genuine. I, I've been very genuine. Like, I'm just genuine. And, mm -hmm. um, this is genuine. Mm -hmm. Now I know I need to never win a witch. Oh. Have you said this have you said that you can't work with Shelly and Clay as a couple? You said it to me in the HOH room the yesterday. You, said to you literally said it to me yesterday. Okay. Said okay. You did, dude. Shelley I'm not a liar. Let me tell you, you said it to me. I will put my hand on the Bible. You straight up said it to me yesterday in the bathroom the in the HOH room. You said to me, quote unquote, I asked you specifically why. You came to me and told me you're going to pull me into a meeting. That never happened. And your answer was because you changed your mind about it. It was going to involve either Shelly or Clay. I don't know which one. But for whatever oh, reason, you ended up changing your mind. Down. You changed your mind. You said because you realized you, Shelly and Clay can't be trusted together. Your exact quote. Oh, when me. you're talking about us getting an alliance. This was when you, yeah, you when came you to me. You wanted me to come this. to your alliance. I said that I wait, didn't wait, want to enter it with all on, of you. Wait, yeah. I'm sorry, what did you just say? When you asked me about the alliance, When I asked you to enter was... my alliance, bro, I'm HOH right now. Are you tripping? When you asked me You're going to really bro? fucking say that right? Oh my God, you, you must be like silly. You just, you said my alliance. Buddy, you it's told enough. me you were going to pull me into a meeting. Don't you enough. dare imply that was really, my idea. because the hammock talk, really. You said to me, did you not say to me, you're going to pull me into a meeting in yes. the middle of the night. And then I asked you in the HOH room, what happened to and that I meeting? I never had the meeting with you, right? Correct. But so Therefore, why and then I asked you why, and your answer was because it was going to involve them and you realized you couldn't trust them together. That was what you said, period. And now you're trying to imply that I somehow ever came to you and wanted to start an alliance with you? Buddy, that never happened. Never did, and I'm sorry. Really, because your pain. that's funny. You want to fucking challenge me? Have fun. Okay, Have that's fun. funny. That's it, you're a liar. Right to my face. Do you have something you want to say? I do, actually. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, here's the deal. So I came clean with them and I told them everything that you and I talked about oh. to Shelly and Clay. Everything just, you and I. Exactly. Okay. Like, I just felt that you kind of attacked me and it was kind of weird. And so I just wanted to, to have my time with them to, to really just break everything down. I'm, I don't so, know what you said, but I'm sure it was just as much lies as what you said when I was there. So it wasn't I don't lies. Know what, no, it was 100%. I said what she said was true. That's what I said. Do you remember saying that now and there, right? Oh, you mean the alliance you started? Wrong right. choice, buddy. Wrong choice. Wrong choice. F fucking lie. Well, right? Well, let's, was it a lie? Can I, can I, was it a lie, yes or no? You? But was it a lie? Or no? no or I'm not going to listen. No, was it a lie? Me, yes. It was a lie. That's what I thought. Guard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to, to make it known that I wasn't trying to deflect that at all. I no problem. Them, if this is your version of an apology or someone making it up to me, you have much more work to do. Maybe James could give you some tips, because that man is actually a stand-up man who, when he's caught in a lie, can at least handle it like a man. Well, Vanessa, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll talk to you whenever you get a minute. Oh, uh, pretty much everything, um, shit's going off the haywire right now. Yeah, I can tell. I'm 90% sure I'm voting against Jeff, however, you know, um... Oh, you're not 100% sure? Well, I mean... Okay, so let me break this down for you real simply. I didn't want to put Jeff up. 
Okay, mm. y'all wanted me to put Jeff up, and Austin wanted me to put Jeff mm. up. So I said I needed a reason to do it. He gave me a reason when I went down there, which was a result of the conversation that we set up to mm. expose the lies he put out there about you guys. So if you now I've created an enemy in someone, you understand that, mm. right? So we have to. And get so you him absolutely out. have to vote him out. There's no option. Like, between, if you want to sit in front of people, cool. Mm. Behind closed doors, though, you better be 100% voting him out, or I'm gonna be <sighs> motherfucking pissed. Try to make it like he actually had the audacity to tell me he's 90% sure he's gonna vote Jeff out. What? What should okay, I but do no, it? but like, no, but literally, you should have seen my face. The blood probably like rose to oh the top. God. Like, no, but by the end of it, he said 100, and he apologized. But like, let me tell you, I was like, what part of you fucking set him up? Are you missing out on? I'm like, I like, I was like, bro, like, you're you're part of the whole. I I didn't even have a reason. I was looking to do it for you three. Okay, so we set that whole fucking thing up. Yeah, he helped me set it up. Right. What's he talking about? Wait, is there, wait no, but literally. Did he got America's vote? Li literally, let me tell you. Whew. Yeah. Like, let me tell you, like, he saw a side of me, like, he ended it with, boy, I wouldn't want to get you mad. And I'm like, buddy, you already got there. Like, let me tell you. Oh yeah. my God, but like, you want to fucking get me? I mean, I think I scared the shit out of him. Let me tell you, Gosh. like, straight up, like, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, I mean, my face must have been like a cartoon that you saw the red going up on. Like, boy, no, like, but, like, this is some spin shit. And I said, I, I scared them, trust me. Let me tell you, trust me, I got you on okay. this. Someone fucking tries to spin anything that I'm a part of, they will fucking lose that battle. Yeah. I have an eidetic memory, I remember everything that's ever fucking said to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, will, I will pin their ass down so fast, it'll make your head spin. I feel like it's better if you don't know. Okay. But I will tell you straight up, I wish I didn't know. I don't wanna even fucking know this shit. I don't even know why the fuck they're telling me stuff. Okay. But the point is, it's a terrible spot for me to be in. Do you understand that there's like two couples up there and then me as the big fucking fifth wheel? I was like, so let me tell you, Steve, okay. how fucking solid we are. I need you. I know. I don't have another person. I with Steve, well, I've been super concerned with are Steve. Are you still concerned that I have, I don't even know what concerns you about me and Steve. Like, truly, like, he's like the biggest not threat in this game. Like, what are you so worried about if I talk to Steve is beyond me. But, okay, let's just say you had this concern for whatever reason. I said whatever I said. Did that get rid of your concern? Yes or no? Well, yeah, because I don't... So, yes, it did get rid of your concern. You were no longer concerned after that point, yes? It's always in the back of my head. So you were you were still concerned, therefore, after that point. Even despite what I said, you still sure. were concerned? Okay, that was a pretty smart answer by you because you know what my next question is going to be, right? What? If you weren't concerned, then you have no reason to ever air that concern. And now, if you were concerned, and if you were still concerned, that's a big fucking slap in my face. And you're basically calling, calling me a liar? Like, are you, are you telling me what? I was lying to you? No, I'm not saying that you're lying. So either, either you're calling me a liar or you're a liar. Which one is it? Either I'm the one who lied in that moment and therefore therefore you still had a reason to be concerned about Steve, which justifies your later actions, or I'm not a liar, you believe me and you're a manipulator, and you therefore still aired a concern that no longer was valid to other people. Which one is it? No, I was concerned about Steve. So I'm a liar. Okay. Fine. Wait, I don't understand how I just called you a liar. I would like to clarify something about a final two deal. I have like a perfect memory. When I'm in that focused mode, I remember my words. I don't remember this entire conversation. You about said Steve, but when I remember it, I know the words. You said at a certain point that you knew that Shelly was going to choose Clay over me. You said that! You said that! Okay, okay, you, okay you know what? Honestly, now that you've done that, let me tell you, I have no loyalty to you. Since the fucking day that that shit has happened with you, she's thrown you under the bus, but like every motherfucking day, and I just sit there and have to nod my head. You have been, it's constantly, and if you, if you haven't said it directly, it's been psychological, you've been, it, that Shelly can't be worked with if Clay's fucking there. And if you think that's helping Shelly's game, that's you are sorely misinformed, because that is clearly her number one ally. So undercutting him to every fucking person in this house does nothing to help her. That's nothing. not what I said. Vanessa, you're deflecting. That's, and oh, honestly, I'm, not, I'm not deflecting, I'm, I'm telling not. the fucking truth. You're, you're trying to deny the fact that you said, laying here in bed, you said specifically, Vanessa, they're a couple and they're always gonna choose each other. Vanessa, you never you said, said that. Vanessa, you said- You said it and I weapons. said silent! Oh my God. And beyond that, whether you said it or not, you've been saying it in sideswiped fashion since the second you been begin to felt that they're seriously getting connected. No, I haven't, Vanessa. Oh my God, you didn't, you didn't tell me you guys had a final three deal. You didn't tell me that? 
Well, how could I, did I divine this? Did I get it from God? You wanna go back to the Jeff thing? Fine. Were you in the room ever when I said repeatedly, I have no reason to put him up. And yes. I was, my number and one Austin, target from yes, the beginning was James. Everyone knew that. I wanted James, I wanted James. I said, yo, want and Jeff, you wait, and give myself, me a fucking reason. Yes. Get it out in the open. If you have a reason, get it in the open and then I'll have a reason. Yes. But before that happens, I don't have a reason. And, and that is not a fucking Vanessa, manipulation. And, and I didn't force and myself, Jeff to fucking do what he did to me personally. And you and myself oh my and Austin my were coming increase. up with reasons. What? I'm gonna try really hard to be the bigger person. That's all. Honestly, I wish you well in life. That's it. That's all I can say. I truly wish you well in life. I feel terrible. This is like a really shitty situation. I genuinely wanted you to do well. And I just, if you think my feelings are hurt, you're wrong. They are. So if anyone is confused about why I made any of the decisions I made, Jeff was not going up on that block until he <coughs> did what he did to me personally, which was an outright bold lie where he tried to make me the fall person for something he did. And if anyone's concerned about it, or if anyone is concerned that I'm somehow, or anyone was somehow behind some big plot, look at the logic of it. Boy, we would have to be really good to be able to get Jeff to do that. You'd have to be able to like, you'd have right. to be like literally a mind controller. Yeah. She did say that, it's by completely... the way. It's completely. I'm gonna let it out there because she did tell me this earlier that Shelly, Clay, you, Austin, basically the alliance, whatever you guys, that she's saying you guys have, created that fight to find a reason for so, Jeff to go home because you were trying to save So Audrey. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. She and came to me. And you guys all planned it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Let me, so like, but Jackie, use your logic. Imagine I, how good we must have been to get him to do that to me. What are you talking about? No, not even just be that. All of it. Not being HOH and being HOH. It doesn't matter. It's all stressful. Yes, it is. Even when you're safe, it's I'm safe and it's stressful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mm -hmm. still stressful. It's like stressful. being around exactly. people with anxiety and, when, and and feeling the pressure of having to choose one or the other and feeling pressured and feeling all those feelings and stress hormone. No bueno. I'm crying. I can't take it. This. I'm really gonna cry. Like, I can't do it. Oh, so. Fucking frustrating. Oh, man, I hate it. No, I didn't even notice it before. It's fine. I understand. I do understand. It's so frustrating that you really don't get it. It's like a fucking battle of shit every day of my life. And it's like, why? I'm like, just like 32 years old. Why? I also know. Um, John and Steve talk strategy all the time. Mm -hmm. That those those chess games are not real chess games. They're opportunities to listen in and for them to talk strategy. Yeah. Um, to listen in here. To listen to the HOH rooms. Absolutely, mm -hmm. one thousand yeah. percent. And it's mm -hmm. actually not a bad spot to do it. Like yeah. let me tell you, next time so, someone who is on the other side's HOH, I'm gonna play a lot more chess <laughs> because it's, you could hear so much. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Like they they were smart for doing that, and I didn't even catch on to it till I was accidentally yeah. sitting there. Don't lie to me ever either. If you lie to me, I'm gonna be pissed. But what? Just don't lie to me, okay. that's all I'm saying. Don't lie to me. If okay. I ask you questions, make sure you don't lie to me. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, about I what hope though? You're not. Because we have an yeah. agreement. I know. And if you lie to me, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be forced to wonder why no. you would lie. Okay, so I'm just saying yeah. I hope you're telling me the truth about everything you yeah. told me. Okay. Well, there it is. Austin just lied to me, point blank to my face. I mean, I'm loyal, but I'm not stupid. Fuck, why did Austin have to lie to me? Why, why? There was no 50-50, this is like terrible. You're right, I know. We, we stacked the odds completely in our favor. It's bad, bro, it's like really bad. I, I mean, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. But it's just, trust me on this one, it's the worst for me. It's, it's way the worst for me. But I'm stand up, you have nothing to worry about. Like everything I said I would do, I will do. I just, I'm trying to make it look as good as possible because it's going to be, I'm like literally, do you understand? I'm about to take a big fucking swan dive into a pool of blood. Hi, wee, that's what I'm about to do. I'm literally going from turning like the person who probably thought he could trust me second most in the house behind Liz, okay? And I'm about to backdoor him. So I'm just fucking scared. I was scared. And that's why I just said that to you. And as soon as I lied to you like that, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Um, I need to come back up here so and talk to her. you're saying that's the first and only time you've lied to me? Yes. What else? What, okay, what else? So I'm yeah. You're saying that's the I first and only time? I did not vote for Jeff. I never not vote for Jeff. Absolutely not. I swear. 
I'm dying here. I don't want you to fucking please, Vanessa. Bro, I'm an emotional person. I'm scared. I know you're an emotional person. Let scared. me tell you. Let me tell you how much your back is against the wall. You don't even know the half of it, Austin. What you else, don't please? even know the fucking no, half of what it. What did I do? Talk to me. What I'm... did you do? Really dumb shit. What? Like, tell me. Say. Honestly, like, bro, like. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, you're talking to the one person. That, like, I'm so hurt, man. Like, no, I'm not trying no, to do. I don't no, fucking mean. Stop. Okay, I'm not. Stop. Dude, you and I had a final two deal since day two, I'm still and you're disloyal. No, you I'm fucking not. lied oh to God. me. I'm not. I'm no, not. you lied to me. Talk to me, please. What did I lie? Is to that you the about? only lie you told me? Because you should fucking know. I don't know what else. Well, you better come clean now. Was it about my conversation with Jason? You think I didn't tell you everything there? Was that it? Did you? I told you I, when we were talking back there. Yeah, I, he asked me about the twin thing. I gave him a little bit of information, and that's it. Because you know what? He knows. And I felt like if I don't give him something, he's going to think I'm a fucking liar. I'm trying to protect them. That's it. You're trying to protect them? This week, yes. By proxy, it protects all of us. That's all I was thinking this week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me tell you how bad your strategy was. Okay, so many did reasons. I fuck up? Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Are you going to put me up? Um, well, it's a very real please. possibility. Oh my God, Vanessa, please. So just so you know. Okay, so here's the- I don't do the, anything. Okay. I fucked up, uh -huh. okay? I oh, fucked yeah. up 100%. Yeah. Dude, like, first of all, you know I'm me. not trying to lie, but I didn't okay, do anything that has affected you. Don't I yell. Wasn't trying. Okay, I'm sorry. If I fucked up, I fucked up. Well, here's that wasn't why you my intention. Up. Let me tell you how much why you fucked okay, up. Okay, tell me. Because you told pretty much the biggest mouth in the house, who within five seconds had told everyone, myself included, Okay, I've known okay, since so the day to you told him. Okay. Okay. He pulled me and Shelly into the bathroom, told us right away. I fucking knew from that minute on. And so I everyone knew. And now let me tell you what you did in that moment. You wanna know what you did? You made a big glaring target for Austin. Because now it's not a two-headed monster, it's a three-headed monster okay. of which you are the most athletic and smart. So clearly you created a giant target for yourself in that moment, which I would have warned you of, by the way, because I'm a good strategist. And if you had even come to me like you should have before doing that, I would have been I like, Are you fucking stupid? Like that was the worst move ever. He said, I fucking okay. believe, I believed him. I believed that I could trust him. I believed that he wouldn't be open up to him. I was struggling with it emotionally. Well, let me like, tell you who you could trust in this game. I know. It no. was me. I know. That was it. Oh my okay? God. Okay? So I'm the one that fucking came to you and told you about Jace. I'm the one that fucking gave you the fast forward. I'm the one who took all the blood on my hands when we were both HOH. Vanessa. I'm the one that forgave you for throwing the POV. I'm the big fucking fool who believed that your JS tattoo on your fucking back stands for whatever the fuck you told me it stands for. What do you mean? What's it stand for? This back here? Yeah. In dreams I jump without you. Oh, is that what it stands for? Yes. In dreams I jump without you. JMP, yeah, why? What, what do you think it stands for? Not that. Oh, my wrestling name? Oh, is that what it could stand for? Do I look fucking stupid? Oh my God, that has nothing to do with anything. Actually, like, you have no idea how much it actually hurt me. I like trusted you like a me. friend, no, dude. This I was is, like, a forget friend the game. Too. This is not the game. No, you are a friend of me. This no, was, I was trying to help us, honestly, bullshit. in my mind. No, I'm not bullshitting, Vanessa. I don't please, know what Vanessa, I'm gonna do at this please. point. I don't. I don't know. I will sacrifice myself for you here. No, I don't even believe that. I, I, like, I, 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 what can I do? I, I can't. Oh my God! This is not real. This is not. No. 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 It wasn't just squealing. It was the lying. I could give a fuck about the squealing if he had. I gave him. I gave everyone the benefit of the doubt. They're working with me, especially. I'm gonna you gave ask him the chance you. to admit it. Yeah, and I was like, and it was like such a moot point, like not a big deal, like the whole house fucking knew at that point. Okay. So I was like, listen, and I said, do not lie to me. And I asked him, and he lied. Okay. As simple as that. Okay. And I knew he was lying, and he knew I knew he was lying, and okay. he just didn't think that it was gonna end up hurting him, and he was wrong. Okay. Because that's what you don't want to do with me. So, okay. remember that. Yes. Like, if right. you knew how like, many that's facts irrelevant. I had, that's I, irrelevant. I had like an overwhelming array of, like, that's the last thing I'm checking in this morning. Okay. Like, w as my brain's like going through all the little facts that I have, like, yeah. I'm trying to weigh it out. It was, when I say it was the toughest decision I've made, like, in life, easily, since my ex-husband passed away. It was the most brutally difficult decision because here's the way I felt. I felt like I have this fork in the road and I can't do both. I have to choose one. And I'm going to piss a significant number of people off no matter which one I do. And um, on the one hand, I have this eight person alliance, which is very new. And I feel like I'm doing a swan dive into an empty swimming pool with concrete on the bottom. And I don't have much to go on that I can trust there. I'm. I'm a real solo dolo in this game. So to do things that pisses more people off is like asinine. Yeah, and so it. I have to go with numbers. I'm not saying don't go out there and campaign. You should. I'm yeah, saying you don't have to worry matter. about me campaigning against you. I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm literally, I will fucking fort myself into here. I'm not trying to do any of that. I have at it. If I could think of an idea that would help you, I would give it to you because I feel bad for you as a person. It's I, No one wants to do this. You're a good hearted guy. You were there for me in human moments. This is not personal and I know you see that. This is not, I have nothing personal with you. Well, how could I have something personal? There's no history, there's nothing there to work with. Yeah. And so like, if you could think, unless you think I'm evil, 
You no. know I couldn't I know you're legitimately like stuff. even look at you in the face and do that. I honestly, when you guys were up here, you and Megan, this is the hardest part. When you guys, because the conversations happened after you guys left, the, the big ones. They, it had been on the table, but finally I decided, no, Austin's going up. Then you guys came in. We had that conversation. I'm finally sitting at peace that I've made my mind up. And then more conversations happened. More pressure happened. More panic happened. More people happened. Things happened. And, and then now I've had to change my mind. And, and, I've, and the worst part of the feeling was knowing that conversation happened when you guys up here. And I was like, that makes me feel like you guys are going to think I'm a terrible human being. I know, you, I know you're going to watch this afterwards mm. and know that I'm not. I know you're see not a terrible human being. That I legitimately person. was like... I'm not gonna do it at that point. I wasn't. I wasn't. I had just actually made up my mind to put. I had told Liz five minutes before. I'm putting Austin up. I'm knee deep in this plan to backdoor Austin. And I have to go through. Those are my exact words. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I can't turn back. It's too late to turn back. And it's as simple as that. That's what I had told her. And then it became. It was like a whole wave of extreme pressure. It's okay. And you so that's what went down. And I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna bullshit you. And I'm not gonna tell no, you what I, I think you want to hear. And I'm not gonna any of that. Right. And. Um, I'm not gonna bullshit anyone. I, you know, if people want to know what happened, you should fucking ask me because I'll tell you what happened. And right. I'll tell you who knew about it and who didn't, and that's that. I mean, like, I gotta be honest. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? How do you not even like give me a hug? Like, and I'm like, I'm on. Dying Vanessa, we're the one on the block. Because Vanessa, Vanessa, I understand that, but you understand I'm fucking every you guys, and I'm in the middle of saying that, and you walk away pissed at me. Like, it makes me feel like because what is he talking about? What I don't know. What the about? fuck? You like? You think he tell me? me? Come you think of all people he's gonna tell me? What is he talking about? about what, what the heck was Clay withholding information from last week? I have no earthly idea. I have no idea. I am going to do whatever the hell I can if that means it. I, I, I mean, Vanessa. I would tell you though, is over. straight up, like obviously, like listen. Um, in doing that, you're gonna hurt my game, How? and you're gonna hurt your own game. Because your honestly, decision to already no hurt our game because we're huh? on the block. What? So um, you, your decision to put Jason is on my on the decision. Block. You mine? This was our. And if you, if you insinuate that it's mine, honestly, stop. that's fucking fucked up. Vanessa, you want to fucking start a fight with me? Vanessa, Fine. Stop. But let me tell you, we know it was all stop. fucking three of us. Please stop it. Sit down. Like I'm telling you, like, Vanessa, stop. Both you're going to take your most loyal person and turn him against you, like, honestly. Not. Can we all keep our voices down? I need time. Stop. General. You wanna say it? We can say it. I promise, like, they go away, they go away. It's because of your decision that I'm chasing. And I'm like, listen to me, you fucking snakes. That's all I wanna say because it's fucking not my fucking decision. It was ours. And if they went in, I'm such a good person, I don't even put the blame on them alone. I take equal responsibility. But they were, right? Of like course. They, they had, like, and, and do you know how infuriating like not, they're blaming and it on you, but you know how it is to have it turn to be pinned on me? They're blaming it on you, and we're smarter than that. Yeah, mm. well, it doesn't matter. We don't, we I got, don't care. That's the reason why I put them up on the block right there. What are you thinking? Um, about that thing about Johnny Mac being, um, someone's brother. You think he's related to someone? Or related, related to Clay's, Clay's cousin or something. You think Johnny Mac and Clay are related? It could be. Well, there's some bond there between Clay and Johnny Mac. And like he volunteered, do you know Clay volunteered to go up? When, when Johnny Mac was gonna be my pawn, it was really weird. It always stuck with me, it stuck out as strange. They're hiding it very well if they are siblings. Their accents don't line up either. No, they live in two different states, obviously. Johnny Mac and Meg look like they could be related. They actually look like it more. A little bit. You and you and Clay look like you could be related. Shh. Do you have something against me personally? No. Okay, well, because it's gotten back to me that you're throwing my name out there, and I really don't know why. Yeah. Okay, but then why would you go tell Johnny Mac that I'm in Shelly's head, all this bullshit? I didn't tell Johnny like that. You can pull Johnny Mac in here and, and ask him right there in front You didn't of me. say anything bad about me to him? I didn't, I swear. I swear on my little girl I didn't. What? The, oh my God, but like, who the fuck is lying here? Like, what the fuck did, did James tell you? 
that I'm gunning for him and... No. He didn't? No. He didn't say anything to you? He didn't say anything. No. But Clay just told me you told him that. That I told him that? Yeah. No. That, that I told... Told who what? <laughs> Clay okay. just told me that you told him that James came to you and said, I'm in Shelly's head and both of us are gunning for you and that's why you need to make sure you vote out Shelly. James, James didn't tell me that. Okay, because I'm like, like telling you like straight up like I those words I have never in this fucking game like my word is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds he like did it came say from that. you, Clay. And if you think you're gonna one up me on this one, Whoa, this is not Vanessa. cool. Dude, I've had your back a million percent. Let me tell you how not cool this is. I can see through this. You know, I mean, this is like this is like Vanessa, very obvious. Vanessa, to me. Vanessa, Vanessa. You're, dude, I'm telling you right now. I'm I telling you right now. Was it Clay who said it? I mean, no, no one old. said it. I said it. You actually think I'm gunning for you and I'm in Shelly's head based mm -hmm. on what? I have no idea. It's just the way things are like coming together in my head because no one tells me any information around here. Okay, <laughs> I really respect you for trying to have your boys back here. Yeah. Like, I get it, and I see what's going on, Johnny. Yeah. But, like, you and I both know you have no reason to ever think that. So the fact that you're even trying to say that is ridiculous. That's what I told you. You didn't, you know, you and I both know you didn't come up with that on your own. That's I, not possible. I did. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He's backing you up because he's like a loyal whoa, guy, whoa, and I get but it. That's, I didn't just but, come up with that, so don't. No, you know, I've had why, your where would you call me James? And so, so that's <sighs> where the lie happened, which means that the lie happened from you, which means that you're trying to back up him having that info and making the source James rather than you. Vanessa, I swear to you, I didn't come up with that. Okay, I'm like the most isolated person in the house, and I don't have influence over anyone doing anything. They do what's best for them. Okay. Okay. So let's get that clear right now. If you really thought that. Okay. But I mean, I don't know, like. I mean, I'm genuinely confused. If you really thought that, that's going to make me wonder everything I've ever wondered about you. Yeah. I came up with it on my own. <laughs> that's real strange. That is real strange. And then where did you come up with that it came from James? I don't know what's even going on here. I'm out of this. I'm telling you right now. I'm not one to make up lies, but I'm out of this. But I'm asking you, Clay, you did just tell me it came from James. You told me that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm asking Maybe you where that came Maybe I assume that then. From. I don't know. Maybe I assume that. It just seems like you're lying. I'm telling okay, you, well, sure, it seems then like I you're lying. lying. It actually does. I mean, then it I'm seems lying. like you're lying. Okay, I'm lying. I'm telling you, it seems like you are, and well, I don't then, understand. Like, okay. why would you? I mean, do I'm this? telling you right now that I've never lied to you. I'm not lying but to you. Why? So. Like, I don't understand. I don't know. Like, I don't understand. He's lying, dude. He's lying. I'm just telling you, plain as day, he's lying, and I don't know why. Like, why would you do? Take 100 percent of my lying, but I'm not going to explain myself. I already told you the truth. That's it. I can't. I'm not going to tell you right now, over and over, the truth. I, I, what I think really is happening, I think Clay must have said it to Johnny, and I think Johnny's backing Clay up and trying to say he made it up out of his own head. Because how know. Johnny, on a million years, could think that Shelly and I are, are gunning for him, that's like the most, that's like if Shelly were to come out of left field and say that I'm gunning for her. Like, it doesn't fucking make sense. So, like, it doesn't make sense, dude. It, like, why? Why would you ever think I'm gunning for you? Why? I just put it together in my head. Based on what? I don't know. Th then you didn't put it together in your head. You're not a, you're a guy know. who's logical. Like, there has to be a logical sequence of events to come to a conclusion. I'm just asking for a piece of that logic. I'm just freaking out. <laughs> That's all I got. And what this sounds like to me is him backing up Clay. That's what it sounds like. Well, he get... doesn't want to make Clay look bad in this spot, and, and I get it, but that's cool. But at the end of the day, the only people that are, end up looking bad is James and I, and it's not fair because we didn't do anything but be innocent bystanders. Like, all I've done is try to do what you asked me, or the way you asked me to vote. Like, I straight up was going to give, I, I equally like both of you. And if you had a different way you wanted me to vote, you should have told me, man. Like, I was just doing what you asked me to promise to what do. You, what, what, and I don't understand way. all this manipulation that's going yeah. on. I really don't. And whatever that stuff, I don't know who said it, Johnny Mac or Clay or who he said it, said it, I said it. I didn't say none of that bullshit. Okay, well, I believe you. Because it, it makes no fucking sense out of left field. I mean, I guess you, like, you want to be my target? Like, I don't understand. Like, you're not even going to give me a reason why you would think that I'm gunning for you. It's just the way I've put everything together in my head. Me and Shelly. I made it up. I lied. Clay. You did, obviously. Yeah. I can tell. I know. And the most confusing part is that you would feel that you'd need to do that. Like, like I told you, if you fucking wanted to stay, you just had to tell me. What? If what you is this? To stay, this whole like, I don't I don't even know. I was doing this to keep a promise to you. I was. So you think I'm trying to stay? You think I'm trying to do this so I can stay? You think that I'm been bullshitting? Well, why else would you lie that then? Because oh, I can <sighs> actually explain to you why why it would add up to you staying. But why why would you lie then? I'm just asking you genuinely. Like then why why would you say that? Why? You think this is all so I can stay? So well, I'm trying I'm trying to then. like. Tell me why. I don't know, but just somehow made that up. So you're saying you didn't make it up? No, I did. It was all made up. I don't know what you want to say. I mean, is that, that's what you want to hear. So, Johnny, you didn't say that then? 
No, Johnny never said it. Johnny, you didn't say it then. Now you were lying then. When you said that, you didn't say it. He was trying to cover me. Like, I'm seriously asking you a question here. Like, are you mm -hmm. playing this game or not, man? Like, did you say that? I said no. He was backing me. Did you say it or no? Hmm. Huh? Did you say it? Vanessa, he didn't say it. Did you? Johnny, just say you didn't say it. You didn't say it. You didn't say it, obviously, okay? He's racking me. It doesn't make any fucking sense why on earth you would say that. Exactly. And I really, I just, I'm so honestly confused. Like, fuck you, man. Like, what the fuck? Why? I don't know. Oh my god. What? Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. What gave it on? What gave it away? That amazing smell. Oh my god. What the hell is that? That just, that? just, that just, that just happened. What the hell <laughs> is that? But it's but it it's to disinfect and clean. I made an accident. Trimmers and I made an shavers. accident. <laughs> you made a very big accident. That was a big accident. Oh my god. If one of us goes on the block fixing kicks out of her bag, totally. That's right. Thank you. So, got that shit. Um, oh, did I tell you so? Um, Steve, Austin, and uh, the twins um, came Stop. Isn't it funny? I freaking love it. It's cool, right? It's so cool. Yeah, like I told you, I have a lot to get you up on, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. But they totally, 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 totally have our back. As long as we're not uh, on the block together. So if we're on the block together, it'd be rotten. Okay. It's the same plus Steve. Okay. Great. Okay? That's amazing. So I'm totally alone. You're not alone. I'm totally alone, first of all. I know. I know, girl. <laughs> Geeks has your back. And then I was like, oh, I was like, Steve thought of the name of an alliance for us, Beauty Freaks and the Geeks. Okay? So you gotta fucking back me up there because I accidentally said Freaks and Geeks. Oh, Retardedly, I'm an idiot. <laughs> idiot, idiot, idiot. I hate you. It was an idiot thing. You're an idiot. I'm sorry. Who? I'm an idiot. This... It was an accident. It was an accident. She goes, I feel so alone in the game. And I said, don't worry, Freaks and Geeks, I have your back. Oh. But she hasn't said I'm sticking to it? I mean, she hasn't talked to me about, like, after... Don't bullshit me. You're a straight shooter. Don't bullshit me. I'm not. No, All that's right. what I'm saying. I'm not. You're bullshitting me right now. I can see right through. I can tell. Well, don't bullshit me. I'm definitely not, Vanessa. James. I'm, I'm being serious. Oh, my God. This is the first time you've bullshitted me in this whole game. I'm not. Before this, you've been so straight with me. She No, she has not talked to me about the plan. Only all the plans she talked about is keeping a deal, the deal that we came up with on the all first right. date. That is it. That's what I was saying. I wanted to go You've got a guilty there. look on your face, though, right now. Straight yeah, up. Look in the mirror right now. Huh? Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror right now. Look at that face. <laughs> Does that look like... Oh, this is a kitty hat. You can't vote, so I'm not here to campaign, but those were some pretty harsh words, especially for someone like me. So I would love it if you could explain them. If you had not pointed your finger at me in a group of people and made me pro that word thing, it just gets me. I felt like my word was being forced from me, not given. Well, why not in that, that moment was a snap. Say, why not in that moment that say? That is what I will give you. It just, well, I don't understand why you're being so venomous like with me. Like, I'm straight up trying to understand. Like, and I respect you for that, Becky, but like, there's no reason to get upset. Like, I'm the one on the block. Like, not you here. You're the one in the HOH room. I'm the one on the block. You're like, I'm not seriously. upset. I just don't feel like you're a like cold hearted to. person. You really are. Like, I don't understand. Whoa. What the hell? I would love just like some kind of explanation from someone who knows something. I mean, Becky just like yelled at me and came inside. Like, Becky yelled at me. She's literally like, she's not a nice person. That's all I can say. Like, like, I'm on the block, not her. And I'm asking for an explanation. And she literally yelled at me, didn't give me a chance to say anything, stood up, pointed her finger at me, yelled at me, and ran inside. And I was like, literally like, wait, like, can we just, I don't understand. She just, I don't, under, I really don't understand. Wow. So. I'm sure Becky will have like an explanation. No, her explanation is that I made her give my word and that pissed her off. I made her give her word in that room. 
Um, I'm sorry, when, when people on opposing sides make a deal, it's a common thing to ask people to make their, give their word mm -hmm. so people can feel comfortable in a deal that they ought not feel comfortable in for this very reason. Mm -hmm. When we all know that people have relationships with people that we were agreeing to put on the block, of course we're gonna give our word. Like, I don't know if that's a bad thing and that's the reason I'm on the block, fine. But like, that's the only reason that was given to me, but it was said to me as if I had like, committed a heinous crime against her. And so, like, if, if anyone knows anything else that I've done, like, personally, please tell me, like, because I'm genuinely, truly confused, because let me tell you, out of honor and out of respect for my word to her, I've kept secrets on her behalf that are ridiculous. And James, you're the first person who's going to know about them. You're the first person who's going to know about them. And Jackie will be the next person to know about them. Because, like, <laughs> that's so ridiculous, like... It's so ridiculous. She challenged my integrity publicly. Let me tell you, my integrity has always been great, even to her, okay? The ironic part is. And so, you know what? I um, have no loyalty to her whatsoever now, and I'm going to, um, I, I, I'm going to give you the information that, that I have, because if someone who is that disrespectful of a person that they can't even, like, in a moment of weakness, like, I've been in that spot. I did that to Jason. You hear the person out, you at least, like, have a conversation with them as equals. Like, you don't... She's not my mom to yell at me and run away. Like, yeah. like what is that? So what do you mean? Like, I'm sitting there, tears on my face. She's literally venomously yelling at me and running inside. Like, I don't understand. You're running inside? Outside? Yes, we were, we were sitting outside by ourselves talking, and I'm just so confused. Like, genuinely, like, I feel like I've personally attacked her. And I've never personally attacked her. If anything, I've protected her. I have information that could have hurt her. I would be surprised if she doesn't... Okay, well, let's just get this out right now. A lot of things went down that week. Let's just get it out right now. First of all, that girl did not know an hour before. She was a part of the plan. She knew the night before. Yeah, Fine. She wasn't a part so, of like, it, but she knew it. Yeah, she knew it. Yeah. And she, yeah, and she, she asked me She asked me to protect her and to say that she only knew an hour before right. for her. So to look out for her, her ability to still have alliances on the other side of the house, she knows. I she protected her. She wasn't... She wasn't the victim there, you guys. I know she wasn't the victim, she wasn't the victim. but that she wasn't, wasn't the plan to spot. begin with. She was, she was asked straight up. She was up. in a terrible situation. With and Jason she said, I've been waiting for this day. I never trusted those people. I, Shelly, Vanessa, you're the two people I trust the most in the house. I want to make an alliance with you guys. I want it to be called the generals. She, she is not the victim in this spot. If you think she's the victim, let me tell you, she's a master manipulator. Because she's straight not. up, she she's was not, not a victim. To. She was a part of it, and she was a leader in it, and that's that. And so, like, the irony is, like, okay, James wins power to the next week, and then she's the whole time coming downstairs, shelling, shelling, Clay, everything you're saying up there, everything. They knew the whole time. She was betraying her trust. She didn't even decide to fully change minds until you guys win power again. Last week, if you had no one, James, she was gonna put you up on the block. <laughs> I mean, like, it's crazy, like, the amount of things and how crazy it is. Like, it's actually like, Oh, she was the one. The amount of two faces. She was the one. Who the one you want you want remember and I told you she was the one. That was her. Her that I was protecting in that moment. And I did not give you did I not say I would not out of honor I wouldn't tell you. You asked me if anyone had ever, and I said yes, one person, and I said I cannot tell you who. Well now you know who. <laughs> ridiculous. So ridiculous. I hope to get to know about this beforehand. Cause if you knew, honestly I'm gonna take that as deep betrayal, because like the irony is the only thing that she would ever have to justify that speech would be things that I've done out of loyalty to you. But you say you didn't know, or you no, did know. You she told you or she didn't tell you? You just said to me that that speech came from something from me? No, well, I'm, I don't, well, I'm, she's saying the people I'm closest to, everyone knows I'm closest to you, so that's why I don't understand. No, and I said, I definitely did not know. You that, didn't know? No, none of that came She from. never told you, but she didn't tell you that I was going out. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you this once, and I'm gonna warn you. I really hate liars. Okay. You know this, okay? Okay. Okay, you know that, right? Yes. And I've trusted you beyond. Yes, you game. have. Okay. okay. Did you tell Johnny Mac anything about that, that implies that I have any kind of opinion about him? About him? No. It's not okay. It's like fucking mean. I think, like, the twins thought you were sleeping. Whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm the only person to be on the block and has no fucking clue why. Like, there has been no fucking valid explanation for anything. And people are treating me like I'm fucking hungry and I'm not. So, 
<laughs> I do have friends in this place, or so I yeah. thought. And I mean, at least fucking Jason had people who gave a shit. Me and my friends suck. They suck. That's <laughs> all so I can say, you guys suck. We thought you were sleeping. Sleeping? I'm fucking sad, obviously. Well, I mean, we came in and talked to you, but you haven't come out. I thought we thought you were going to come out there maybe. Oh my God. But you but wanted like, some time alone. Yeah, that's what I want. And that's... I don't think anyone thought we were offending you. That what? That we were offending you. We give me it's not some offending. Stuff. It's like... But it's... it's. Did anyone even give a shit if I'm okay? <laughs> like, fuck. Well, I mean, people said you were out there for a second, you seemed okay, and you were doing well, and then you went to bed. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you need anything? Nope. Thanks, though. Okay, I mean, let me know. I'll, I'll come back in. I'm just gonna take a quick shower. Yep. My fucking ass. <laughs> My friends suck. Why did you push the Fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> Why? Because I don't have a friend in this fucking place who could check on me once in seven goddamn hours. <laughs> Whatever, it's bullshit. Like, what the fuck? You think I want to go out there and see that bitch? Yeah. Like, that fucking bitch, like, just yelled at me. Didn't, didn't give me any fucking real reason. The, the other people, the fucking minions, I fucking talk to them. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Fuck. I know. I'm sorry. Honestly, I could give a fuck about the money. You guys don't even know me in my real life. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck about uh. the money in the game. I don't. What hurts my feelings more than anything else is that people who I. I've treated a certain way along mm -hmm. the way. I would expect a little bit of the same in return. Yes. And being left in a room alone I'm for so seven yeah. fucking hours is not cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, I have, I, if anyone, does anyone know yet why I'm with the book? Because I don't. What the, what, I'm sorry, say that one more time? Does anyone know why I'm on the block? Because I don't. The reason she told me is because I asked her to give her my word. And then she doesn't like that. <laughs> like, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Not even one goddamn person gave me a fucking hug. I'm like, what the fuck? It's fuck. Like, I don't get it. Like, have I not been the nicest fucking person every goddamn person a year? Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with people? No. <laughs> Makes you feel like everybody fucking knew. And... Um, no one had the balls to be your friend and tell you, and people feel so guilty, they don't even want to be around you and face their own guilt. That's really what it feels like, mm -hmm. and that's what it feels like. And it's what it feels I, like from you, and is it true or not? Did you know? I had a really aching suspicion that Becky wasn't going to put Johnny Mac up. Okay. I see, I... And that's what I talked to you about last night. I'm not talking aching suspicion. Steve, did you know? No. Yes or no, this morning when I asked you? No. I, I was suspicious. I'm, I'm telling you, my everything in my gut tells me you knew. Uh, you're my friend, Steve, and I'm telling you, I can tell you right okay. now, the way you were acting afterwards, it's because like you I was felt really, guilty about not telling me this morning. I was morning really suspicious. Right. She told Steve because she didn't know he could tell me. She didn't, like, come up to me and said... Steve, I know you do. Don't, don't, there's no reason to compromise your integrity further. Stop. I know you do. She has no reason to think you would tell me. Okay. She would never fucking know that you would tell me. Okay. And obviously you wouldn't, so... I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm an idiot. That's all I have. <laughs> That's my conclusion. I'm an idiot. Can I come to a similar conclusion? Yeah. We're all complete idiots. Yeah. But I'm a big one. I'm a big so one. Am I. No, I know I'm so a really big one. So are all 17 of us. No, no, some people are less idiots than others. I'm a big one, though. I don't think you are, Vanessa. No, I really am. I wouldn't have made a fun if you with you otherwise. Well. It's like, there's so many levels of irony, I can't even begin to start. <laughs> I just feel like... Alright, actually, so, okay, like, let's talk. I, okay. I wanna, I wanna, like... Okay. Here's the thing. I, oh. I wanna help you. 
Huh? I do. I want to help you in this game. I think you're a really trustworthy guy. Mm -hmm. I think you might have something against me um, that I believe is unfounded. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how, where it could come from, um, but I know I'm not a bad person. I know I haven't attempted to yeah. give my loyalty to everyone in this house. But the people I have given it to, I've been extremely loyal. Mm -hmm. um, I was getting bullied. I felt like I was bullied at the time a little bit. So I'm not gonna throw people under the bus when I'm getting bullied. So if you wanted to hear that I was coming after you, I just told you what you wanted to hear. How are you getting bullied? I felt you were asking me for to throw one of these two people under the bus, and I just had no idea what was going on. Oh, you felt I was bullying you? Yeah. Bullying is a really strong word, mm -hmm. and um, I just can't imagine that someone as evolved as you would can't look at the other side of the perspective and imagine how it must have felt for me in that spot. Yeah. All right. So that's the extent of what you have against me? Yeah, you, you, it, it didn't look good for me either. Whatever it is, I didn't cause it. Mm -hmm. And I, I think to blame yeah. me for it is like unfair. It's only coming up because you're bringing it up. <laughs> well, no, because I can tell that there's an issue with it with you. Yeah. Like, are we on the same page or no? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's just a lot of stuff has gone on. I'm confused, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But you're a really smart guy. This whole, like, I'm confused bit, I don't buy it. Mm. I'm confused. You're not that confused. What do you mean? You're a doctor, for <laughs> crying out loud. What do you mean you're confused? Based on the fact that we've previously talked about this argument, and you said we're cool, mm. I believed you. But now in this conversation, you're, you're using a word like bully directed at me. Yeah. And which is not a word you use with someone that you're cool. Okay. So that worries me uh -huh. um so that's my reason for needing to ask the following question yeah. which is are we on the same page about that do you under do you have any animosity towards me about what went down do you understand why i handled it the way that i did um do you think i should have handled it differently uh yeah i don't i don't like when you cry and yell at people <laughs> okay and that was me <laughs> Okay, I don't like it when I cry either. I'll give you mm -hmm. that. Like, I certainly don't ever cry on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, if I cry, that's like, like I'm emotional and I can't help it. Mm -hmm. And yell at people? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm really sorry you feel that way. It'll never happen with you, Johnny. You don't have to worry about it. No worries, man. All right. I think he and Becky... They both hate you. They both hate uh, me. It makes a lot of sense. But, but I don't understand why. Like, yeah. here's the thing I don't get. Like, you guys know me. Like... I'm not a mean fucking person. I like, I don't understand. Like, why does he... I think it's from that thing it's that... From her, that though. stupid clay thing. That's the thing I don't understand. I'm telling you, I think he has having, like, a mood disorder. Yeah, like, he's... He's bipolar. He's, like, very moody. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. like, you try to talk to him, and he, like, looks yeah. like he's gonna... He likes screamo music, first of all. You know screamo <gasps> music, what that is? That's that rager music that he people... Likes people <laughs> I know exactly what that is. That's for people that can't I know talk about their emotions, and they basically go and scream stop, to the music stop. to let it out. You need to stop. <laughs> I can't. I can't. How do you know this? That's insane. No, but the screamo, you've heard it. It's like that... Ah. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, guys, he told you this, or you just he, know? No, he told death metal. He told you, right? He's 100% into it. He's I'm being nice just okay. because he's in the room with me. And it's like really awkward. I just didn't want him to like fucking attack me in the middle of the night. Straight up, like I'm Can a little bit, leave? I'm not kidding you. I'm actually a little bit scared. Hey, stop it. Steve, I'm sad. I'm not I can't move. move to you. I said I'm in a sad mood. Why are you sad? And you're, and you're being annoying when I'm being sad. I don't have any. No, you don't, don't ever spend time with me. I don't have anything here. Everybody has someone. Who does that have? I just want to go over it. I can't do this anymore. I'm so miserable. I'm feeling incredibly lonely. Why are you feeling? I don't want to make a big scene. Please don't make a big scene right now. I don't want other people to see this, okay? Should I leave you alone? No, I'm just saying don't be loud. I don't want other people to realize something's bothering me. Even. Okay. Like, I swear to God, I feel like I'm on the block again. Like, what the fuck is going on? Am I about to get back door and I don't know it? Because every time I come into a room, everybody fucking leaves. It's, I swear to God, people are acting just like they were when I was on the fucking block. If I'm going up, just tell me, Steve. I, you're not going up, Vanessa. Like, I'm, maybe I'm losing my goddamn mind. <laughs> but I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, People are acting so weird to me. 
And it's like, and I'm just so fucking lonely in here. I'm like, it sucks not having any fucking people. To I don't know whether anyone that wants to do anything. Any, I, I don't. I've been always open to hang out with you. I don't understand what. No, what I asked you to. When did do you ever come and ask me to hang out? Never. It's like you have John, and Meg and James have each other, and the twins in Austin have each other, and I have fucking no one. And it is so lonely in here. I don't understand how you feel like that. You don't understand. Who do I have? Like, me. really? Me, how are you, what me, are you talking Austin about? Twins. Bro, you're, you're paranoid to even talk to me for two seconds. I'm sitting here talking to you right now. I, I don't understand why I'm paranoid. You want to see records? Want to see me set records? Watch me go into a room and everybody fucking leave every time. And like, and why did you lie to me last week when you said, like, why didn't you tell me you knew I was getting backdoored? You told Julia and Liz that you knew in advance. They told me. I was really suspicious. No, they told me you knew. I didn't know. They told me you told them you knew. I did not. I would, it didn't seem right back to be treating Johnny Mac up. Steve, you knew. This is like the part where I, then I'm not even gonna talk to you anymore. It's like, if you're just, it's so pointless, like. <laughs> it's, it's the slob, it's the slob. I'm losing my shit. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know. I'm dead, I'm overtired. You're not even trying. There's no point. There is. You beat me before when you mm -hmm. tried. There is no point. Really? Yes. That's terrible. <laughs> Not even trying. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, fine. I'll quit. No, I don't want you no, to quit. No, I don't want you to if you're not going to try. It's like stupid. It's pointless. Like I told you, that's why I never play chess until this point because I, it's like not fun for me unless you're trying. There's, there was like a five-person alliance. You joined um, and the twins in Austin to get rid of me. True or false? That was something that was discussed, true. Who, whose idea was it? Whose idea was it? Who orchestrated it? Not me. It's you, motherfucker. And they told me it was you. It's all, all of them confirmed it was you, wasn't it? It was? You could say goodbye. You ain't got my vote. Was it you? No. Was it you? No. Well, you could at least have the balls to admit it. No. What? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry? You didn't orchestrate it? You didn't true. orchestrate it? No. It wasn't your idea to pull Johnny Mac in and orchestrate it. They want to work with Johnny Mac. No, they wanted to get me out and you were working with them to do it. It was your idea to orchestrate the five person alliance to do it, wasn't it? No. I'd be breathing heavy too if I were you. Goodbye. You, you play, you're trying to play a game too hard. That's I your think. opinion, I respect that. Um, but with me, I'm clear cut and dry. When I went to HOH, two people's got to go up. I don't sit there and say, okay, let me think. So are you this, like this, insulting this me right now? Is that what's going on? You're actually literally insulting me. No, I'm not insulting you. All right, man. I think it's best you go downstairs. Like, I'm going to get mad. How is it? Like, how you're is fucking literally you? telling me I'm playing the game too hard. Like, who are you to be a fucking expert? You don't even know you. Oh, my God. That's a respect thing. You're That's playing a respect the game thing. You're, hard. you're critiquing me. Who are you, the fucking expert? Did you win like last season or something? I don't know. Like, fuck, you're man. You're playing the game? What? Like, what do you I don't want criticize the way you're playing. Like, that's disrespectful. Did you want me to say you're not playing the game, Vanessa? No, you said you're playing the game too hard. That's a criticism. That's not a criticism. You that's said, a good I don't thing. do it like that. So, what you're doing is the right way, and what I'm doing is the wrong way. No, We're both I'm here playing... last time I checked, so we could both be right. Vanessa, I'm telling you, I'm playing the lazy way. I'm just trying to stay out of everything. No, you just literally criticized me to my face. I did not. Well, I did not intentionally try to do that to you, okay? Vanessa, I'm not trying to come up here and bash you. I'm trying to get out what, what, what's going on. Like, obviously, I went up on a block two times with you and two HOHs. And, it, and I understand if I'm your target for that reason. I've tried to explain to you my I've rationale. never put you up. James, I understand. And, and like, if you win HOH and you want to put me up, I understand. I don't know what else I could tell you other than I completely get it on a game level. I see your perspective. I've given you an honest accounting of why I've made the decisions I have. Yes. I don't... There isn't anything personal before this conversation. Okay. However, like, I don't know what else to tell you. You're safe this week. Um, you you want to make it clear how, how much of an enemy I am? All that does is incentivize me to send your number one home, which is Meg. I just want you to know. So, like, the more you piss me off, the more you're locking her fate up. I don't know what else I need to do. Like, I'm a game theory expert. I'm telling I know, you, but he wouldn't have told me if he said he would have. And if you believe that, fine. That's oh, what I'm telling you. It's not no, he never interest. Told. That's why it's I knew not in his best interest. What's the, I was looking at for you guys. This is the worst case scenario. I know. I was trying to maximize the probability. She was never gonna, gonna fucking be him. Just so you know, is. I mean, this is this is your worst case scenario. I don't even know why you're fucking cheating. Like, it's terrible. Yes. It's gonna save you. Like, I don't understand, dude. 
He just told me, he's like, I was going to throw it to you. She, he's That's like, what he's he saying. She just played you. Say that. I'm sorry, if you want to say that, fine. If you want to be evil like that, fine. But I'm telling you, you know what? You're going to have to go with your gut. Like, I swear in Mel's life, I wasn't playing you. I was looking out for you. I swear in my fucking life. Mm. I swear in my fucking love. Mm. I wouldn't do that. I'm not a fucking evil person. I was genuinely looking out for you. Mm. What's the harassment? I have so much information I can fucking do. Mm. I'm not a fucking rat. If you wasn't coming into the bus, I swear to God, I'll unload all of it. It's fucking fucked up. Steve, not now, please, not now. Not now, Steve. Go away. I swear, to my fucking girlfriend and my mother. I know. I'm fucking looking out for you. This is your weakest side. Do you not get it? And let me tell you, like, the fact that he's implying that I played you, I'm this close to unloading everything I have on that fucking man, which is a shit motherfucking ton. I'm telling you, I'm so close. I'm, I'm tired. He's fucking playing me. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, what are you saying to them? Are you, I don't, well, I didn't say anything. Okay, I just why, sat why, is she, why is she so mad at me? She said, because, because you're Asian. You want the truth? She said, because you're no client. That's what she said. Well, I can't. What am I supposed to lay down? I, I was defending you. I actually did defend you, even though yeah. I think you're a piece of shit right now. What? Why but do you know this shit? You want to know why? Yeah. You can have a seat. Okay. So, that being said, these are the three things I would ask for. Part one, um, if either of you win HOH, mm -hmm. um, I'm a reasonable person. So, I would expect the other two to be the front door. Mm -hmm. If I need to be the back door, fine. But you need to both give your word on something very meaningful to yeah. you like each other or like on like something like I, I need like some kind of major word giving that I'm the back door, not the front door. And if I do go up as the back door, if I do go up as a replacement nominee, you have, that you have your votes to right. stay, that I'm staying and going to final four with you guys. 100%. Okay. So that's the first part of the deal. Okay. The second part of the deal is if, if nominations stay the same and it's either Steve or Johnny Mac, it gets to be my call, which one stays. Okay. 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 I just need one of them. I don't care. Okay. So that would be the thing I asked for because mm -hmm. you guys would have a huge advantage going into Final Four. You realize that as a couple. And right. so that's the one thing I would ask for in fairness. And really, it's kind of a toss-up anyways. Um, it is. Totally. And, and so, the, um, so that would be my second thing. Mm -hmm. And my third thing is if I end up in Final Three, either of you guys, without the other one there, I need to know that you're going to choose me to go to Final oh, yeah. if you win in Final Three. Okay. okay. If if I end up in final three and y'all are in, in there together, if you're in there together, I'm that dumbass. Like I understand you're gonna take each other, and that's mm -hmm. fine. But but if for some reason I end up there with y'all and someone else, I'm your number two. Right. Of course. And that's the deal. So that's the three parts. If we have those, if you guys agree to those three things, I want your work on something very very meaningful. And we have a deal. Hand it to you. Show show your hands, because your fingerprints are oh. all over every I really single tried. Joey, eviction. But like I tried. <laughs> but like I, no, we saw. I fought. <laughs> you did. You uh, worked it. I, I did. I tried my best in this game. I gave it everything I've got. It wasn't meant to be. I mean, you know. You played an amazing game, Vanessa. Thank you very much.